and welcome back to my channel. I've made a special video about a digital planner for iPad, where I dive deep into its features and share some tips on how to set it up to boost your productivity. This planner is a fantastic tool, not just for students and teachers, but also for entrepreneurs and other professionals, for instance. This app closely mimics a classic paper planner that many are used to for jotting down tasks, ideas, and thoughts. Now, in a single digital planner, you can plan your year, months, weeks, days, and even hours. Additionally, it allows you to summarize the day, take notes, and make annotations in books and on images, preserving the convenience and functionality of a traditional diary. The link to the app is in the description. So let's dive into the details. First off, I create a motivational plan. It includes goals for the year that I want to achieve in areas like work, family, hobbies, health, self-education, and networking. Based on this plan, I build schedules for the year, month, week, day, and hour. Typically, this plan is created at the beginning of the year, and at the end of the year, I compare what I managed to accomplish and what I didn't, transferring some goals to the next year. Next, I put together an annual plan where I outline the main tasks month by month to gradually achieve the goals set in my motivational plan. Then I move on to the monthly plan. In it, I identify the key task for each day, setting priorities. Next, I use a weekly planner where tasks for each day are distributed by the hour. This is convenient for finding time to add new tasks. Next comes the daily plan, which is the main section of the planner where I spend most of my time. It allows me to turn the month's priorities into practical tasks aimed at achieving annual goals. Now I can customize the layout of the schedule so that it perfectly matches my daily routine. Choose the time format that suits you best, 12 hour or 24 hour. Additionally, you can choose whether your work week starts on Monday or Sunday. Set your preferred start and end times for the hourly planner to better customize your day. Adjust the line width to match your writing style, as this can make a significant difference for many. If needed, you can enable event synchronization with Apple and Google calendars. Now to ensure I don't miss important tasks, I set notifications for particularly significant tasks. Now let's discuss a key element for boosting my productivity, daily notes or end of day summaries. This is a way to reflect on the past day, pondering my feelings and analyzing my actions and their reasons in a conversation with myself. In these summaries, I record the conclusions I've drawn, the goals I've achieved, and the things I'd like to change. This is a traditional approach. What worked, what didn't, and how I can improve. I fill out this section every day without fail. Now, let's discuss the tools and their key features. The pen and marker have three thickness settings that can be adjusted for each. This is very convenient for quick switching. Since the marker is semi-transparent, I often use it to highlight key points. There are also three palettes available that allow for quick switching between favorite colors. Customize your notes by adding photos, images, or stickers. I've found many cute and aesthetic pictures online and recommend using resources like Pixabay to download high-resolution images. In the digital planner itself, there is already an extensive collection of stickers for any life situation. In addition to using the Apple Pencil and your finger, there are three methods for entering text. One, keyboard, two, handwriting, and three, voice input. To convert handwritten text into typed text, simply start writing in the text field using the Apple Pencil. To convert text to speech, click the microphone icon. Now just dictate and your speech will automatically be converted into text. Made a mistake? No problem. Simply use the undo and redo functions to easily correct or revert changes. If needed, you can easily share the planner with others for collaborative work and efficient task management. Here are the key features and tips for using the digital planner for iPad. The link to the planner is available in the video description. Please like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. See you next time.